It's your boy, Dr. Seven. Welcome to the first episode of The Seven Show, where we'll be talking about all things football, FIFA and Fantasy Premier League. But uh, first things first, lads, we've got two of my special guests here today. First, we've got Christopher here. Say hello to the people. There you go, people. <laughs> Massive Liverpool supporter. And here we've got Edgar. What's going on, buddy? Not much. How's it going, Seven Army? Yes, and he's got uh, he's a huge Man United fan. So, uh, anyways, lads, we're here to talk about the Premier League first off. Then we'll get into the uh, FIFA and uh, Fantasy Premier League stuff. But first things first, lads, let's get into the uh, club previews here. Now, first club I'm going to talk about is Arsenal. Uh, what are your thoughts on Arsenal, their pre season and. Uh, Oh, look, honestly, honestly, I haven't paid too much attention to Arsenal's preseason itself. But in terms yeah. of their transfers, um, I think they had a, a good win and it had a, a bad oh, loss. Every show, actually. Yeah, it was a, yeah. Like Valencia. They had a real, yeah, yeah, Sonogo got four yeah. goals in one game Honestly, or something yeah. like that. Like they've brought in Alexis Sanchez, who's that's well, massive. He, he for them. world class. That's but um, you know, Callum Chambers kind of a replacement for Jenkinson. I guess you could say, considering he's loaned out. Yeah, Jenkinson, that was a... Uh, yeah, I thought Jenkinson would have stayed seeing yeah. that Senya left, but that was a bit of a weird one. Yeah, uh, but um, in truth, I don't think they've uh, strengthened what they need to, that holding mid. Um, you know, That's they've obviously <laughs> missed out on Kidira by the looks of it. Yeah, well, I've, uh, Arsene Wenger's virtually uh, ruled himself out mm. for uh, Kidira. So, at least Cavallo, really? Yeah, pretty much Cavallo, but... Um, I still reckon they need an out and out striker. Mm. That's my personal opinion. You know, they were heavily linked with Balotelli, but um, I still reckon they need that person mm. because if Giroud gets injured, let's say he's out for four months, they're screwed basically. Sonogo. Yeah, <laughs> Sonogo's your backup. You can't really rely on Sonogo. Maybe Joel Campbell down straight as a nine. He's, he's back in, eh? Yeah. I heard he's looking for a loan back out. Really? That's what I heard. Yeah, he performed well at the World Cup. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, it's stunning. Yeah, even he scored in the Champions League against United. Yeah, he's got that ripper for against uh, for yeah. Olympiacos. Yeah. But I'm saying this about Arsenal lads, they um, mate, they smashed City in the um, Charity Shields. City yeah. B scored. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But mate, the second half they had a f- first and, um, mm. decent team, mm. and they still got fucking hammered. You yeah. know. The damage was done. It. I yeah. reckon by that and saying that, uh, Pellegrini, he was uh, definitely off the mark with tactics, man. Oh, yeah, no. You're completely uh, wrong. Arsenal flooded, flooded yeah. the midfield. Dominated. Yeah, but um, what do you reckon of Debussy at right back? Yeah, Debussy is a good sign. Very Not good bad, but we'll see when but it comes to the big dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think it's still saying he's uh, probably better. Yeah, I think he'll definitely get caught out. Yeah, yeah. But in saying that, Debussy was starting ahead of Sanya at the World Cup. Worked that one out. That doesn't make no sense at all, does it? Yeah. Good point. Yeah. yeah. Why Deschamps maybe doesn't like him for some reason. Yeah, you got Sammy Nazri not even going to the World Cup. Yeah, so. yeah he's a weird one, that Deschamps. That yeah, the, um, yeah. He's he's made a lot of p- players upset over the past, yeah. you know. But I'm saying now, all right, let's, uh, next club we're going to move on to Chelsea. Chelsea, now Amazing. this team have made the biggest, biggest transfers Amazing. in the Premier League. Amazing. Mate, you want to talk about world class, mate, Fabregas, Costa... Uh, Felipe Luiz Didier Drogba and Courtois coming back on loan yeah. mate that is that you could that's like a all star team there it's good to get just these new transfers it's pretty scary but they've also lost some experience as well Ashley Cole and Frank Lampard so. mm. but you can argue those, those two last season more. yeah you can mm. argue those two last season weren't even playing like yeah Ashley Cole, how many how many appearances did he make yeah last yeah that's pretty quite tough, taking over the majority of the season yeah he's good too Lampard, um... Past his best, really. Oh, way past but his you don't best. Know, you don't know what they bring to the dressing room. When you've got these imports coming in, you don't know if they could adapt. Yeah, but like, when you look at it, 50 mil for David Luiz. That's a master stroke. Mate, that is... Mate, master Mourinho stroke, should man. be uh, <laughs> going to jail Might for that. Yeah. That is an absolute steal. Yeah, like 28 million for um, Lukaku as well. Yeah, that's yeah, that's, that's... Silly money, man. Uh, well, he's, he's basically broken even just off those two sales. Oh, definitely, definitely. Crazy. Uh, but what about um, mate? When I think of Chelsea, Lampard to City. I know. I'm How in the hell has I'm that good. happened? Have you? But do you do you, do you think Diego Costa is going to adapt straight away? To the <sighs> uh, that's. I'd have to say yes, just because 
Mate, he's he's a big game player, man. Yeah. Like you think of, I when I think big game player, I'm not talking about the World Cup. I'm thinking late stages in the Champions League last year. He was, mate, he was phenomenal. You know, plus let's be honest, let's be honest. Now he's got Cesc Fabregas behind him, uh, Hazard. You know, he's got all these players. Oscar. You know, William. Yeah, but but, but in saying that, you still gotta. Like, they gotta gel. I understand. And Atletico yeah, had some really good exactly attacking. The way they attacked, yeah. it, it, it allowed Diego Costa yeah. to express himself. Turan. Good attacking. Coke. Yeah. But you know, considering how Mourinho likes to, it's defense first and then attack. Yeah. We'll see how he goes. So Denver Bar's gone to the. Um, the Shikta. Is it Shikta? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's, quite quite a it's got a hat trick, huh? They love him already. Yeah. Jeez, well, <laughs> it's got a hat trick. Who wouldn't? <laughs> Romelu Lukaku now. Crazy man. Are they? Is he? Is he lost the plot, Mourinho, or what's going on? You can't. He, 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 Speechless, man. Mourinho's got a good track record. You can't really say much. He must see something there that he doesn't like. Well, it doesn't I, quite add up. Yeah. He's done it a few but, times. If you guys remember, um, Casillas for Real Madrid, mate. Can. How many uh, consistent appearances did he have for Real Madrid? Mourinho got there. Didn't like what he's seen, mm. and then that was it, mm. mate. So it's kind of different though, Casillas, because he's aging, and Lukaku is still very young in his prime. They're saying he's going to be one of the best strikers, the and, next Drogba, and, and yeah. proven and in, in the Premier League as well. It's, it's a big, it's a big sale. It is. That's huge for Everton. It's, it's oh, a big mate. coup for Everton. Probably the biggest transfer ever. I'm guess, surprised so. a club like uh, you know Liverpool or Newcastle or you know one of these clubs that need a striker didn't mm. go in for him. Uh, you know? There's no way that they would have sold him to Liverpool, mate. No way. Yeah, yeah. they wouldn't have sold him to Liverpool. They, they well, only sold if they sell Mata, they gave you Sturridge. United. Yeah, <laughs> I suppose you're right, but I don't know. They they, they gave us Moses, but he <laughs> <laughs> should have kept him. Is he gone back on loan? He's gone back. Yeah. I says, all right. So I don't know. He's back at Chelsea. Know where he is, but I don't think he'll get a game for Chelsea. No way. Nah, yeah. He'll be sold or something before. Yeah, sure. Yeah. The Wigan player. Man. Mm. Yeah, he was alright at Wigan. He was he, he was, was good at Wigan. He was yeah. decent. So was Tom Cleverly though. <laughs> <laughs> it's the uh Martinez effect, huh? Yeah. Right, man. Yeah. But uh let's go on let's talk about Everton. Mm. Mate, they've officially got now Lukaku and Gareth Barry. Mate Behich as well. Yeah. yeah. Played excellent for Bosnia in the World Cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah he was yeah. good. He's probably one of their standout players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Everyone, everyone's talking about Jacko, but by the end of the campaign, everyone's talking yeah. about Bezic. Yeah. And another year in Ross Barkley, who's oh. going to be a world beater. I reckon, I'm predicting now. And, and James McCarthy, who's brilliant too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And a year for Baines. So. But Baines as well. Yeah, he's a, just, he'll be about 30 at the end of the year, won't he? He's killing it, yeah. He's on fire. And same with Coleman. But the only thing I think they need is... A replacement for Delafay, considering he hasn't come back. He was injured a lot, yeah. but wasn't he? Yeah, he was. But he provided some crucial plays, mm-hmm. like last twenty, last thirty. Yeah, they just, they you know, that goal against Arsenal. Yeah, they got one. Morales. I think they're lacking but, a little. Bit yeah, they got. Depth. They, 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 they got, are. They they've are. got Morales and Pina Magai Gay. And they're in. Well, I think he's who, gone. Who's your other winger? Then? He's gone. There you go. Like. Yeah. They're in the Europa League as well. I think that's gonna. Oh uh, yeah, that will stuff them up a little bit. You know, you got Naismith. A striker playing mm. wide mid. I don't see that working yeah. out. Yeah. What happens if Lukaku gets injured? You're gonna have play off. That's to massive. Next week, mate. And yeah, Lukaku. Nice <laughs> yeah, covered last year a few games. Yeah. yeah. But uh, anyways, let's go on to uh, your club, <laughs> Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> mate, let's 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 not beat around the bush here, yeah. all right? Luis Suarez. Massive, mate. Mate, it's. I feel sorry for you in a way. Yeah. In a way, because I know what it's like to have a world class player yeah, gone. Yeah, King Ronnie, mate. It's hard. It's, it's hard, but let me just say we're not Tottenham. That's all I can say. They're going to make the same mistakes they did. I could be wrong. Well, everyone keeps comparing Liverpool to Tottenham. Oh, don't even bother, man. <laughs> two different clubs. Two, well, they both don't win trophies. So. Rogers knows exactly what he's doing. Yeah, yeah. So talk about the ins for Liverpool. Oh, you know that I called Ricky Lambert about what, <laughs> three months ago when I messaged you saying... Nah, I remember, I remember. Ricky Lambert. It's a true story, true story. Me and you... And it was our, after the uh, Chelsea game. Nah, me and you and our girlfriends were out to dinner one night. Yeah. And we were talking about Ricky Lambert for Southampton. And you said, this guy is all right, man. This guy is good. I wouldn't mind him as a backup. That's what I would rather him than You us, said that ages ago. Ages ago. Yeah, yeah. Ages I'm happy ago. that they got him out. He probably, he's not going to score 20 goals, but he's there as... He's not even back up to storage. He's there as plan B yeah. for Liverpool. If they have to 
get the long ball in, mm. try playing some crosses. But I'm happy with the ins of Liverpool so far. That Mankia looks really well. Yeah. It's only one game, but he does look pretty good. Apparently, yep. Alberto Moreno... Officially? He's, they've agreed. Done deal. He's yeah. apparently a really good left back. I've never seen him play, but he's Fif- already represented what, what Spain. 15, 15 20, mil. Of 12 million pounds. Big money, man. For um, Mark is big money for a left back. <laughs> Let's eh? get to this. <laughs> 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 just, I knew that. Yeah. It's just thick. <laughs> I wasn't a big fan of Lovren, but what I've noticed in the first game is that he's... It looks like Edgar. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> he does. But he's... Uh, he seems dominant, like, and he's, he's yeah. a loud voice, yeah. and he seems to... I think that's what the Liverpool defence needed, was a leader. Yeah. And he looks like a leader out there, which I'm happy to see that. You haven't seen that since Saga, like... And with that, apparently that Divock Origi, the deal was so he had to go back to Lille yeah. so we could get him cheaper, but there's talk of Samuel Eto'o coming in as a loan. I don't, I don't want that to happen. But that's only because they think that Origi is ready to go from next season to be I, up there with Stoke. That doesn't make sense to me. That he's ready to go now. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah. it was a part of the deal that Lil just wanted. If if Liverpool wanted to get him, he has to go back. Yeah. yeah. You know, so Cra- could, uh, they yeah. only got him for ten million pounds. It could have been to have him now. It could have been twenty five. And you know what Liverpool's like there. Oh, all right. A bit tight yeah. with the finances. Yeah, they're, they're very much like United. Very with, much. With, uh, with Emre Chan, I, I see. He looks big mate, and strong. Unit of a player. Solid man. Absolutely, yeah. Really, good. really, really good, really good player. Um, who else is there? There's, but will he play much? I think he'll play. He started against um, uh, Dortmund, Dortmund yep. the other day, and yeah. I think that was the eleven he's going to go with from hmm. against Southampton, and. He looked really good there because Gerard now his legs he needs box to box midfielders yeah. belo- alongside him. He's got two now with Henderson and Chan. So is is Gerard gonna play just the big games? You reckon? No, nah, he'll play as many as he's captain. He'll yeah. play as many as he can. So you reckon Henderson's the one that will miss out? No, no, nah, nah, it'll be them three. It'll be a three of Henderson, Gerard, and Emre Chan. And so Lucas midfield. is gonna miss out. Well, Lucas is gonna miss out. If, he, he won't even be there. The so time. you're gonna have Sterling, Sturridge, and then Coutinho. That's how I think he'll line up. And then the three. Chan, Henderson, and Chan and Henderson are just working as Gerard's legs because Gerard yeah. hasn't got the legs anymore. Yeah. He'll yeah. essentially play. Got I think Lalana is a good signing as well. I think I, I like Lalana. Well, yeah, when's he gonna fit? Like he injured, huh? thinking, hey? Yeah, no, I'm the same. But where's where's he gonna fit now? No, like, it's just he's just there's more depth. He's gonna need a Champions League this year too. Uh, like, yeah, and I think that the only thing that Liverpool's lacking is just that they need that backup for Sturridge. If Sturridge goes down, we are in big trouble. Big that's trouble. True. You definitely, know? definitely. We've got plenty of players who can play in behind him. Yeah. You got Sterling, Coutinho, Lalana, Markovic now. But with with Sturridge, is you're going to bring Ricky Lambert. You're losing a lot of pace. It's, yeah. it's if you speak to any Serbian person that follows Liverpool, they'll tell you that Laza Markovic is like the Messi of Serbia. <laughs> but yeah, they say that a lot about a lot of it. They, yeah. they, they have got a big but laps like, on him. I've heard a lot about him, but watching him in preseason, it was awful. Yeah, I don't think he made I haven't seen too much of, of impact. I think he only played. Okay, so yeah, like, but he got injured. So. But Liverpool had a pretty good preseason. Very good. No, He's made the down. final. But the, the, it was up and down, but the best game they played was the other day. They were they were pretty pretty good the other day. I thought, I missed that one. I was watching the Community were, Shields. Yeah, no, mm. I didn't watch that. I was watching Liverpool. They were brilliant the other day. So from now to when the actual transfer deadline day shuts... Which player do you want, or which player do Liverpool need the most, in your opinion? I'd l- I'd love for them to get Wilfred Brony, Brony, the number one. Yeah, I'd love to get Brony from. Go what? Go but, go. But, you go on. No, but I see, like you've got Ricky Lambert in that department. Yeah, but that big the, option. Yeah, but twenty. Brony's only twenty five years old, mm. and I don't want anyone a bigger name than Sturridge because I think Sturridge plays best when he feels that he he's is the dog. best striker. Mm. <laughs> no with, matter with, what happens, yeah, he's going to feel that Suarez, way. <laughs> without Suarez now, he, he really looks like he's got the monkey off his back, mate. Mm. I, I reckon he wants to be the number one striker. I don't want him to get Benzema or Higuain mm. and push Sturridge back because uh, to me, I think he's better than both of them anyway and he's younger. So I'd just rather just get Boney, keep Boney mm. as a backup to Sturridge and then Lambert's plan. But but then Lambert. you got to think, would Boney want to be a backup? That's what he comes to Liverpool for. You're gonna get games if you want to play Champions League, and you got to when your chance is there, you got to take it. That's it, man. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, nice. All right, let's go on to the next club, Manchester City, yeah. champions. Yeah. 
<laughs> made <laughs> champions of 2013-14. But let's let's be real. Let's be honest about City. Yeah, mm. they did their utmost best to lose that title, and they couldn't even do it. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely man. How many times did they fall over at the end, and they yeah. still managed to win this league? It was it was a joke in the end. But and saying that, they had a huge signing yesterday in uh, Mangala. That is yeah. massive. There's another player who gets um, who's not even the first choice French centre back. He's not even in the French. Um, he's on the bench for France when they play. And he's going for 30, what is it, 32 yeah. million pounds? Crazy, yeah. Huh? And we paid like 18 million for Saka, who's their French captain. I don't understand how it works. Yeah. Yeah, like people see Man City coming in automatically, 15 million on the price. Yeah. You know. And they'll pay it, man. But in saying that, they've got Bakary Senior for free. That's a brilliant sign. God but knows what he's waiting in, in my opinion, Zabaleta is a far better right back than Senior. Yeah. Going uh, forward also, and defensively. Yeah, Ma- so, maybe old how, Sanya a few years ago. How old Sanya? He's still he's not old. Man. No, I think he's 30. Yeah. I think he's 30. I wouldn't be surprised if he's in his 30s now. I think with Zabaleta, it's just a worry that he's getting older. And he even last year, he missed a few games. And mm. towards the end of the season, he started to struggle a little bit. He mm. really dropped off. So I think they need Sanya. As a, as a backup, because Mika Richards just can't do it anymore. Shambles. Yeah. It was, it's I really, done, is he? As, he, good as, he was, as good as he's got potential to be. He showed a lot, a lot of potential, mm. but um, he's never lived up to it. I, would, I, I personally love Mika Richards. He was a talk of the town when he was 18, 19. Everyone oh, loved him. Yeah. Ne- yeah, next John Terry. He's phenomenal yeah. size on him. Yeah. Sometimes you play a player who belongs in centre back at right back for too long and just they just never adapt and they never get back to playing centre back mm. again yeah so he's built to be a centre back yeah right. oh, you know, he's mate. quick he's strong he's, look, he's like company yeah you know mate but I've always said City they have always need a partner for company and now they've got Mangala the most highly rated centre back outside of the big leagues Mate, this guy looks impressive. I heard it up with all the deals, all the you know third party deals. This deal was forty two million pounds to get him. Big money, man. Forty two million for someone that sits on the French bench. That's mm. and coming from Porto. You know, it's crazy. You know, but in saying that, Lampard. Now that that deal must be just well, to piss Chelsea fans off because he yeah. won't even he won't even get a sniff nah. in the reserves. Yeah, I think enough. that's. Um, just for the dressing room of yeah. the experienced Champions yeah. League. I reckon that I think they want the Champions League more than anything Absolutely. this season. So oh, they do. Lampard could be a good signing in yeah. the, the Champions League games. It's been yeah. a failure since they've started, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah. That, that, could, that could benefit a lot of Premier League teams that they want the Champions League more and hopefully it benefits my yeah. club, your club. <laughs> 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 they got rid of a lot of players too. Pantelimon, Lescott, Gareth Berry and Jack Rodwell saying... All young, yeah, in, young English uh, players stay away. Stay away from City. No, he's right there. Well, look, we all knew that, but if made to come out publicly and criticise them on the day you've just transferred to Sunderland. It's hard, it's hard. That's harsh. Like, yeah. Well, but uh, you got, you got to look where he's coming from. They essentially took two two of his years at least. Do you think? Playing. Do you think he was good enough to play for Man City? No. Like at the, when he when he when, was when he went there he had the potential. Yeah. To how, how old was he? All right, how old was 21, he? Twenty one. Twenty one. Yeah, yeah. Barkley could go to City, and I think he'll get a game. Oh, Bark, yeah. And Rodwell, there's no way he'll. he'll well, over Sammy Nasri and David Silva. I, I reckon saying he probably could get a yeah. game. Champions League. Yeah, I reckon or, he could. Ross Barkley. Not over David Silva. No. Yeah, but he, the different type of player. A couple of bad games here, and you got. Yeah, no. Out you're of form. Right, you're right. Uh, Man, let me tell you, Barkley is made for the Premier League. But but in that case, I, I'd assume that Pellegrini would push on Yaya Toure and then bring in Fernando and Fernandinho to sit. Mm. Yeah. There's the player, mate, Yaya Toure. Yaya, yeah, oh, my God. Oh, mate. How, how he didn't win PFA, for me, he was just unbelievable. Oh, I, I, I fought <laughs> Yaya. <laughs> that's not... That's not the... Suarez. <laughs> He was unbelievable. Hey, if we're, as far as For me, it was Yaya, hands down, man. Yaya, when it mattered, he was massive. Exactly. At, at the end of the season, as far as when it mattered, he was a bit quiet. Which mm. is, uh, but uh, anyways, let's get on now to our club, the one and only. All right, let's go, Edgar. Talk about the signings and the players. That, more importantly, the players that are left. There's been a lot of transfers. Yeah. Um... Well, look, in there's not really much to report about other than under Herrera and. Hey, come in a bit, man. Sure. You're, you're, look at this. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, go on. 
Other than uh, Herrera and Shaw, there's not really much to talk about um, in terms of ins. You know, yeah, we, obviously. We've been the, oh, no, we've got a goalkeeper. We've got yeah, the, the young Serbian fella. Yeah, the next, uh, you know, Schmeichel. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just joking. You go on. Um, but outs, I, man. Man, look how many outs, outs there is. Outs, painful, man. Um, Bebe. Who would have thought, kill man? Kill <laughs> man. <laughs> Who would have thought? Um, but look, Evra, Rio, Vidic, man. Three of our biggest symbols. The strangest the one. Day. The strangest one for me is Ever. Out of all those signings that have gone, yeah, considering he signed a deal, he just season. signed a deal and yeah. we sold him a couple of days later. Well, it was rumored that it was similar to the Herrera deal, so he signed a four-year contract with the option of extending. Yeah, 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 yeah. And of course, at that stage, they took that option to extend it. Yeah. Well, the other thing is. Um, why I say it's strange that we got rid of Evra is because we just sold Butner just before yeah, that yeah. as well. We got rid of two left backs and we paid thirty million to get you know the potential of England's next you know best left back for the next you know ten years. Yes. And going back to my comment about paying a lot for a left back, for me you're buying into into the potential. Of oh no, sure. yeah, everyone. If, if we get 15, 15 to ten years out of him, well, that's a bargain. That's oh. the same as Liverpool. Yeah, he's only I think Marine is only twenty. That's good, but Luke Shaw does look a, a good player. Looks mm. like a very good player. Yeah, I think spent big. We don't have to worry about our left back now yeah, for the right. next ten years. You really have to do that, you know. But uh, in saying that, Button has gone. So we got. So what happens if Luke Shaw gets injured now? Well, you're looking at Blackett, probably. He looks amazing. I've, I've seen him all out through preseason. He's the player that's most, uh, you know, just stood out my eyes. He does uh, like it. Tyler Blackett. Yeah. Even this morning against Valencia, mm. he looked. Class, man. Yeah. He looked class. He looked good. But this formation that you and I play, this three at the back, mate, if Evans, Johnny Evans, injury prone, you know? And, and loves a mistake at a crucial time. Johnny Evans. He's been, he's been reliable lately. He's been reliable lately. But uh, J- um, Phil Jones, Mr. Injury prone. Yeah, absolutely. You know? And then we've got Chris Smalling, who's not really injury prone too much. But I tell you what, if those two goes down... Yeah, we're in a bit of trouble, aren't we? A little bit, mate. It's crazy that we haven't just gone well, out. Mike, we went out and Mike bought. Kane. We went out and got Herrera. We went out and got Luke Shaw. Mm-hmm. I can't believe we still haven't got that central defender to replace Ferdinand and Vidic. Just one. Well, like Matt Hamels or something. Well, yeah, look, just gone and spent. You know. By, by the sounds of it, we put all our eggs in one basket to get Hamels. Yeah, he's and now that he's been turned down, well, it looks like Benatia is only our only option. Like. Mm. Yeah, he he is Benatia, but um. Mate, Mang- Mangala would have been ideal. You're oh. in a situation where we were in. It's just hard without the Champions League. you got to yeah. just get a bit of luck. Grind. Yeah. Grind and get a bit of luck and hope this formation works. Hmm. Yeah, that's right. Now, um, the other deal that's been going on all summer about United, it's been doing my head in, it's Vidal. been doing a lot of United fans' head ins, is Vidal. I'm sorry, Vidal. Mate. What is happening with Vidal, Edgar? Oh, look. Is it going to happen? Is it not going to happen? If you were to ask me a month ago, I would have said the deal's already done. Yeah. But considering that it's dragging on this long, I don't think it's happening. Why is it dragging on this long? A month ago, it looked like after the World Cup, you know, you're hearing rumours that it's all said and done, Mm. it's signed. Then next thing you know, he's going on the pre-season with Juventus tour and he's just not happy. Now you're hearing rumours that United are are, are too scared to go for him because they're worried about his his knee injury. Well, in saying that, we we gambled on Ruben Nistelrooy at PSV when he'd just done his knee and brought him in. And yeah. Look at that turned out. Yeah, 12. Yeah, he was out for 12 months when he came back. Yeah. But uh, Vidal, mate, he is the player Manchester United yeah. need most, in my opinion. But it's a gamble, man, but surely someone like Vidal is going to pay off. Is it really a gamble? It's a player well, of Vidal's quality? What do you reckon? Yeah, no, I think he's a, he'll be a real good player for Manchester. They should get, really try to Try to move heaven and earth to get him. Mm. But I think they need more than that. Like, yeah, if they're definitely. playing the 3 5 2 with the wing backs, honestly, if, if if Ashley Young is your first choice right wing back, I think you're in for a bit of trouble mm. in the Premier League. Lucky you mentioned that. Mate, tonight on Twitter, rumours going around United are about to put together a massive bid for Di Maria. Something, Hopefully. In, something in the region of four, the high 40s. To hearing. play in what? The right wing back position? Don't know, don't know, because he can he, he can play he can play he can play in the wing, but he can play centrally as well. I'm not sure if you recall, but do you remember about two years? I'd say if we could bring in one winger, I would love and help Di Maria to come in. Yeah, he's don't get me wrong, 
he is quality. Now, I made a video not too long ago saying mm. that I do not reckon he is worth more than £35 million. And I still I still feel that way. It's the only thing that's changed my mind is that this season, the transfer market has just gone crazy. I'll tell you about it's the, incredible. Tell you about the, the money being thrown around. With, with this Champions League, with this... Um, just speak up a little bit, with sorry, this, man. With this transfer, yeah. the market, you've got... Th- you're saying he's not worth more than thirty-five million, but he was the player, the best player in the Champions League final, By far. and and that Mangala was sold for thirty-two million, and 42. a lot of people, <laughs> a forty-two, and a lot of people don't even know who he is. So what's Di Maria worth there? Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. Could they be like seven but then, million? But then you got David Luiz. He's gone for 50 million. But he was sold to Chelsea for what, 30, 30, yeah. 24. And plus a player. So uh, Matic yeah. should yeah. actually get back anyway. Yeah, Matic is a good player. He's a quality player. Yeah. He's a quality player. But Look. if Di Maria doesn't work out, the one other player who I reckon is a better... I wouldn't say a better option because Di Maria is the number one winger available at the minute. Yeah. Because he's getting pushed out the door, let's be honest, yeah. from Real Madrid. They don't really care about him. Hamas Rodriguez, man. Yeah. Um, is uh, Quadrado, man. He's got to be cheaper than Di Maria. He's he's 26, about to be in his prime. Mate, he looks like Ronaldo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he does. He looks like Danny Wilbeck with dreadlocks. Yeah. I'll show you. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've, I've seen that tweet, man. I died, man. So but good. I'm telling you, lads, his kid, can he be the replacement of if we do get rid of Nani? It's a risky one. Yeah. That, but you have to take him. Well, I think we do. United need a lot of work everywhere, all over yeah. the, the positions. But if you'd have to pick, you'd have to say that one central defenders, two central midfielders, or probably on par them two. Mm. They're just as important. And then you'll have to say wingers because, let's be honest, Ashley Young, Nani, Valencia, they're all getting on. You know, they're not the best in the Premier League. And they won't suit their system that he wants to play. I reckon Valencia can, because he's a defensive player. Maybe he player. can play wing back. He's yeah, yeah. He's but in saying, that, in saying that, Ashley Young is having an unbelievable pre-season. Yeah, I know. Pre-season. Yeah, yeah, I know. You can't judge pre-season. Looks rejuvenated. Yeah, he does, mm. you know. He, that's all you can ask for at this stage, you mm. know. But uh, Cadrado, he could fit into that. Mm. You know, or, or can he? That's the question. But um, and there's rumours Javi Hernandez uh, he's pretty much getting pushed out the door as well. Van Sadly, Gaal, Sadly there's no space for him. Van Gaal said that you can go pick a club and uh, we'll send you talks. Rumours again that we want him to go to Juventus in a swap deal for Vidal. For Vidal. Well, that would make all parties happy. Well, he's yeah, there you go. You got you got your into as oh, yeah, right. Carlos Seven's partner, you know. Yeah, but what are your thoughts on Hernandez? Look, honestly, he's fantastic off the bench for United, but obviously you don't want to be a bench player you your, don't. Whole, your whole career. But I reckon look, he, he's just not good enough. Like he's not in the class of Van Persie and Rooney. Nah, Simple he's as not, that. He's not. Yeah, but Dan, I tell you, when, Dan, I'm, be. <laughs> when I'm watching Liverpool game and I see Hernandez coming on, mate, I tell you, my heart goes to a different level. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. you know he's got but a goal in it. If he's starting, he's starting happy, no I'm worries, with that, no like, problem. Beautiful. That's what I mean. Yeah, he's he's. Unfortunately, when he's starting, he, his dribbling is way off yeah. average. Yeah. <laughs> and his first touch when it comes to actually controlling the ball down is, Not too flash. is Andy yeah. Carroll-like. <laughs> and, but in saying all this, when he comes off the bench, his first touch to putting it on goal is probably the best I've ever yeah. seen. It's just it, always on goal, man. Mate, it is unbelievable. Yeah. But, you know, if he wants to stay on the bench for United... Happy, mate. But just happy. give him a 10-year deal and happy, yeah. deal, happy days. No but, problem. Uh, just the way, uh, just before we move on, just two players I want to talk about. Uh, yeah, man. Fellaini. Mate, scored the 90th minute winner today. Oh, yeah, all of a sudden, <laughs> everyone's the biggest fan, huh? <laughs> mate, he was... Um, Apparent, what's going on there? Like, apparently, yeah? rumours, rumours. It's nothing but rumours, mm. but... Um, Fellaini, I don't know. Is he going to play? I think, well, obviously, if we don't get that extra midfielder, he'll have to play because, yeah. mate, we can't rely on Darren Fletcher and Michael Carrick for yeah. every game this season. Got Carrick's out for three months. Three months. Yeah, something like that. But yeah. you got big clever lady coming. Yeah, you got Cle- and Anderson. That's right. Anderson. I'm, I'm surprised Nani or Anderson haven't been sold yet. It's cash, man. Big wages, man. They're happy to let their contract run. Yeah. Probably let's go back to Portugal. Who's the other player you want to talk about? Yanazai. 
Yes, yes. Yeah, apparently, he's just picked up the number 11. Yeah, if you seen my tweet last night, you would have seen that. Yeah. Selling shirts already at the mega store, number 11, replacing Giggs' number. Are you happy with that? Overall, yes. But those are some incredibly big boots, if you Well, mate, imagine if you got the number 7 top. That's, that's intense. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, he was going to change numbers. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> he, he had a ridiculous squad number. 44. Bell, well, tell, this, bell numbers. Well, yeah. this time last year, he wasn't even, you know, that's right, considered, yeah. you know. But uh, anyways, moving on to Newcastle. Mate, you want to talk about signings. Mate, the fans last year... Getting up and walking out of the game yes, while they man. were winning during games. Mate, if that hasn't sent a message to Mike Ashley, mate, look at all these signings. Yeah, good signings. Mate, there's a lot of signings. Go yeah. talk about them. Oh, so you got Remy Cabella coming from Montpellier. He's their biggest signing, without me, a doubt. Yeah. Uh, he's, a, he's, he's probably their most proven player yeah, out of all of them. Definitely. Uh, most su- sorry, most surprising... Is Jack Colback? Sunday. Jack Colback, wow! Sunday, no wow. <laughs> no hey, one would have seen that. There's uh, rumours of Connor Wickham crossing the border as well. Really? Yeah. Connor Wickham. Connor Wickham. Mate, he has yet to sign that contract. Yeah, exactly, man. So that is crazy. But look, Jack Colback. I don't know, man. He's uh, a squad player for me. E- even at Newcastle. Well, they needed someone to replace Shola Hamiobi with, oh. didn't they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, they. They got rid of a few players soon. Obviously, um, Dubushi went to Arsenal. Yeah. That's going to hurt them because he Good was... Good coin for him, though. Yeah, yeah, that's the other thing as well. But they've still got like, another like, bunch of decent signings. You've got uh, Ferreira, who's meant to be the next big thing from it's Shakhtar. Big, yeah, there's big reps on him. Um, you got Jan Matt, who had an excellent World Cup mm-hmm. under Louis Van Gaal at the right wing-back position. Yeah, uh, yeah. CM De Jong. That's, uh, I think, Nigel think De Jong's brother. Brother, yeah, yeah. He, a- was, he was AX there last captain. season. AX captain. He's injured, too. Yeah, Nigel. I think he's injured. No, CM, I think. Oh, CM, really? I think he's going to miss the first couple of games. And you got Riviere, who didn't really get a game because Big Bertha came in. Yeah, well, that was. Uh, yeah. love, Padre loves his French fellas, doesn't, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Good market, huh? <laughs> yeah, but uh, I, reckon, I reckon Newcastle can look ex- excited to this season. Uh, I reckon. Well, what do you reckon? Yeah, that's a big. Ah, uh, there. Yeah, <laughs> well, I reckon? I don't think they're better than Everton. And for me, they're going to finish about 5th or 6th. You reckon they'll finish? Everton. Everton, finish 5th yeah. 6th. Yeah, probably. And then you're looking at 6th or 7th. Mm. Yeah, well... Um, next club I want to talk about is uh, Tottenham. Spurs. Mate, every year they get um, thrown around Champions League. This is our year. What's going to happen with Tottenham? I'll let you take over. Your favourite club... <laughs> uh, hey, they get relegated. Relegated. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know what's going to happen with him. They got a Pochettino, yeah, very good manager. Mm. I did not want them to get him because I think he'll do. A, he got talent. He though. will help them. He just seems to already have Fantastic. fixed up Lamella a little bit. Same. Yeah, he looks, uh, he's pretty good. He looks good. Well, he looks good. he he looks like the player we thought he was going to be this time last yeah. season. Yeah, and you got um, Andros Townsend as well, looking good. Oh no, I don't know. You don't like Townsend? No, I don't reckon that really. Well. Okay. He they, looks they have, good. They have Kyle Walker out for a few weeks. Oh, really? Could be a big loss at the start. So they're probably being Norton. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. I still think they haven't bought well enough yet. They have, they they've have bought. No, they've hardly bought anyone. They've bought, they've bought potential in Ben Davies, who I personally haven't watched too much of, but everyone talks about him just as good it's as Luke Shaw. Sure. It's supposed to be good. Might Michael Vaughan to replay, uh, be... Um, uh, unless Hugo Lloris is leaving, that's... that's yeah, silly he'll be, he'll be on the bench for the whole season. It's a he's, a, he's a good keeper. Oh, it's fantastic, but they're not playing Champions League, so <laughs> I don't see the point of having two big dogs there. They have to sign that. They have to sign two strikers minimum. They need Soldado's never. I mean, he's never going to oh, look in the Premier League. I think he might adjust under Pochettino. Look Spanish, a little bit of Spanish influence there. Yeah, you never know. What 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 does he, what does he have though? He's he's not big. He's not fast. He's not fast. I, I don't. Maybe the Spanish league, he could, it would work for him. But yeah, it's his backyard. Score. Well, that's yeah, why he was. Yeah, that's why he did score so many goals. I'm saying, but in the Premier League, I don't know if, if it suited to him. Yeah, if it suited to him. All right, lads. Let's. Um, but um, about Tottenham, have they still moved on from the sale of Gareth Bale? You'd hope so. <laughs> but the, the players that they've bought, they're not good enough. So that's true. Except for maybe Ericsson. 
But then again, he's injury Fantastic. prone as well. Good player. Well, you reckon Pochettino can get the best out of him because he looked like he was coming he, on. I don't think I think anyone can get him to play well. Yeah. It's just whether his body can keep up. Yeah, so even Defoe, he was a. Oh, Adebayor, sorry. Adebayor. Adebayor was... He'll do that. He, he'll do what he done all the time. He'll, he'll, he scores, mate. He'll score for he'll two score. months, and then he'll be right here, and you'll yeah. hear him again for the next year. Until another manager comes in, he'll probably score for the next two months. And then yeah. Two. yeah. yeah. So uh, let's get on to um, this weekend's predictions, all right? Now, we're not going to give our top four predictions or Swansea where we four, think... Swansea four, Swansea four, you know No, we're not going to give our top four predictions just because I got burnt last year. We're going to give our predictions when the transfer window is officially shut. Then we'll give it, because that's the fairest way. Yeah. Because. But uh, until then, lads, we're going to give our weekend's predictions, because we can do that. So, uh, first game of the season, United host Swansea at Old Trafford, 12.45 kickoff. Edgar. It's a done deal, it. mate. Predict. Prediction. Set nice 3-0. 3-0? United. Yeah, United. What do you reckon? Yeah, United will win. Uh, two 0 probably. I'd say. Yeah, I reckon. Uh, I reckon United four one. Danny Wilbeck to score the first goal of the season. Yeah, if you were to show me that fixture last season under Brian Loudrop, maybe I'd say maybe like a one 0 two 0 Yeah. Oh, mind but, you, we played. This is our first fixture last season. Yeah, we won. Pasted them didn't we? we four in Wales. Four one or four 0 yeah. something like that. Four one in Wales. Four one. Yeah. You know, but anyways, uh, Leicester versus Everton. Leicester getting promoted. Casper Schmeichel. I think it's going to be a, a bit of a slappy. A nice welcome to Premier League. You reckon? Yeah, it's hard to say. I don't know, man. The fans are going to be up for it at yeah. home in the Premier League. Everton, great, you know. I'll call a draw on that one. I yeah, I can, I can see a draw. A draw. Yeah. I can see uh, a draw. What about you? I'm going 2 0 Everton. 2 0 Everton. <laughs> QPR, another promoter club back into the Premier League at home. Against Hull. Now, last time uh, QPR were at home opening back into the Premier League, they, they got smashed at home 5 0 to Brent. Swansea. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so uh, I'm sure um, Big Ari doesn't like that this time. I'm going to go with a QPR 2 1 victory. No, I think I think the Tigers will win. I think QPR is going to go straight back down. Really? Know. With all the signings they yeah, got? Yeah, mate, they, they got... Um, Big Rio, Corker. Man. Yeah, they got Ferdinand, yeah. Fantastic signing. Corker, they got... <laughs> uh, Remy? Uh, he, yeah, he, yeah. Is he, Remy gonna that's just as good as a signing. Yeah. Wow, mate. He's, uh, he's on the books. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I think that club's cursed in the Premier League. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, about, yeah. what about you, Edgar? Who do you reckon? Well, I'm actually going to split it. I reckon that's going to be the flop of the round, so... Oh, really? 0-0, 1-1. Mm. All right. Stoke at home to Aston Villa. I'm going to go Stoke, that one. Stoke. Stoke don't lose at home. Boy, well, <laughs> Kirkic, mate. Don't lose a count. Yeah, he's on, he's on fire. Yeah, he's killing himself. Yeah, he's yeah. he's unreal. Um, i Stoke, too. Um, well, yeah, I'm going to have to go for a Stoke 1-0 win. All right, West Brom against Sunderland. Damn. Uh, uh, that. Sunderland, the way they finished the season, let's hope they can start like that. Mate, yeah, they, uh, might, they might still have confidence from last season. So. Yeah, we've got the signing of Jack Rodwell. Callback's mm. gone, you know. Yeah. Well, what's his name? The, what's their manager's call? What's his name? Oh, yeah. Gus Poirier. He's got a whole preseason under them now, yeah. playing the way they want to play. So, you never know of Sunderland. I'm, I'm going to say this game's going to be a, a draw. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with you on that one. Yeah. I'll say Sunderland. I think Sunderland. You're going to get an away yeah, win. All right. All right. That'd be some start to the season. Now, the mighty Hammers, West Ham, at home to Tottenham. That's a big London derby to kick off. That is huge. I reckon you're going to see a dirty game from Sam Allardyce. Boring 1-1. <laughs> Boring. I can't wait for that game. Boring. That's, I, I'm looking forward okay, to that too. Okay, they hate each other, and Tottenham cannot beat West Ham. So they can't. I'm yeah, hoping that West Ham can just smash him. Like now, is Andy Carroll game. fit and raring to go, no, or is he injured? He's, he's, out for, he's out for a while. You got uh, Zarate. Oh, he just got injured, yeah, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, Zarate's going to lead the line. Zarate, he, I remember him a few oh. years ago at Birmingham. Birmingham, that's right, yeah. That's, yeah. Arsenal wanted him. Yeah, yeah, Arsenal. Man, he was he looked good for Birmingham. Yeah. He was all right, you know. But um, I don't know, Pochettino, Sam Allardyce, mate. West Ham have had a terrible preseason. Terrible. Yeah. I'm gonna have to go with a draw. 
I'm going to go with a draw. No, I think West Ham will win, and I'm hoping West Ham will win. <laughs> <laughs> Who you bubbles. going for? Yeah. <laughs> you got blowing bubbles blowing in your bubbles, bedroom? <laughs> Boring one, one. <laughs> you reckon draw two. Yeah. All right. Now, probably one of the most anticipated games, Arsenal. Mate, we get to see them in the fresh, in the Premier League. Mate, they got smashed on their first game of the season at home last season to uh, Villa. Oh, yeah, to Villa. 3-1. They're, host, they're hosting... Uh, Crystal Palace. Tony Pulis. Huh? Yeah, Tony Pulis. Organised Tony Pulis yeah. team. Manager of the season, Tony Pulis. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you reckon? Uh, Arsenal. It's hard to go past them at the end. Right. They, lo- they, they lost last season, but they, they'll be fine. Yeah, I reckon Arsenal too. Yeah, yeah. Arsenal all around here. Now we've got Liverpool at Anfield to kick off their season. Is that against the Liverpool reserves? <laughs> 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 All right, so we've got Liverpool against Southampton here. <laughs> Seriously, Southampton, are they in big trouble? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I that's, think that's I think really. everyone's got them tipped to finish at the bottom. Mm. Honestly, the bottom. they have got no one, literally. They've they got money. They've got <laughs> money. <laughs> they've got stacks up to here like Breaking Bad, yeah. but... Mate, I think this is going to be a demolishing well, this game. They've only bought in so. three players, haven't they? Sorry? They've only bought in three players. They got the left back got Bertrand. Bertrand? They've got yeah, Pele. Yeah, thank God we didn't oh, find him. Oh, you didn't want, not a fan of him? No way. Oh, he's horrible. Man. Oh, I don't horrible. think he's that bad. Mate, he started in the Champions League final, if you remember when they won it. <laughs> yeah, because no one else has seen it. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy Traore started in the Champions League final for Liverpool when they won it. Oh, uh, God. Well, we had, we had Fabio. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, S- uh, Liverpool to smash them. Uh, I hope you're right, Curtis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's my prediction. Oh, I think it's a comfortable Liverpool win. Story yeah. to get off the mark. I hope so. Bang. Yeah. All right, now, mate, probably the biggest game of the round, in my opinion, has mm. to be Newcastle at home. Massive. To Manchester Massive, City. Man. I, mate, I think City, City's going to smash them. Yeah. City's gonna smash him. Sort of. I, I don't. I, I just can't see them gluing. This was the fixture that was the uh, the same fixture this time last season, first game of the season. But it was at uh, the Eddie Head Stadium, the Empty Head Stadium. But <laughs> Newcastle got smashed. Is it gonna happen yeah, again? I think yeah. So. yeah. I, think so. I wouldn't. You know. Teach me. My heart Thanks. says I don't want that to happen. But it's gonna happen. Mate. If anything, I'll, I'm gonna go with a one 0 win to City. Yeah. That's my prediction. Uh, I think, four, I think f- three or four nil. Really? Yeah, I'll go three nil. Jeez, you guys have no faith in Newcastle. Mm. <laughs> I, I, just, I, I just can't see him gluing straight out, man. I, I just don't you see can't. Anything. But I, I always take into consideration first game of the season. Fans are going to be up for it. Wall the home pumped. pumped. Yeah. City might be off the pace. Not used used to. You know, like who knows? You know, that's the way I look at it. But I'm saying that last game of the round, lads. <laughs> Uh, Burnley at home to Chelsea. We're talking a big slapping here. I think. Yeah, I think so too. I don't think a big slapping. Chelsea, Chelsea don't they? They always start the season well. First game on fire, though. They, they generally do. They generally play at Stamford Bridge first game. Well, yeah, that as well. So, you know. I remember Burnley was they were at home for their their first home game of the season when they were back in the Premier League a couple of years ago. Yeah, well, they beat United. I think Alexander was their captain. Something like that. They beat yeah. United. So was that, was that the opening game? No, that was the second, second game. Second game, yeah, I remember that. That was a volley. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Carrick um, scored yeah. a penalty or missed a penalty or something like yeah, that. Yeah, he missed a penalty. I'm missed a penalty. Yeah, I'm celebrating. not sure how much <laughs> how much you guys <laughs> watched the championship, but um, their striker, Ings, Danny Ings. Mate, it's big raps on Danny Ings. Mate, he's good. We're going to get to fantasy talk in a he's second, good, and I've got Danny Ings in mind. Yeah, he's, he's a cheeky, smoky, mate, if you want to call him that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But uh, I think Chelsea all around. Chelsea. Yeah, Chelsea. Chelsea. Yeah, Chelsea all around. All right, lads, let's get into some FIFA 15 talk. Now, yes. we're, all, we're all big FIFA players. Yes. We all love a good FIFA game, a quality FIFA game Absolutely. here sports. No jammy goals here, mate. Yeah, but... Um, now, Edgar, you're a big career mode fan, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, man. Yeah, but yeah, and Chris, you're a bit more of an online player? Yeah. A bit more. I'm a bit of both. I'm in between. Mm. I'm, you know, whatever. Uh, let's, I mean... Are you shattered that the Brazilian league isn't going to be in FIFA 15? Oh, yeah, yeah. Couldn't sleep tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you couldn't, they got the Turkish league, so you nah, can sleep okay. tonight, all right? <laughs> <laughs> the Turkish league's in and the Brazilian league's out. Yeah. 
So, um, yeah, uh, oh yeah, and big news for FIFA 15, lads. Uh, the release date has been announced on Twitter just now from EA Sports, September 26th. Done deal, huh? Mate, so uh, get your pre-orders all ready. And uh, I think, Chris, you're interested. And Xbox One is, or and PlayStation 4 coming out with... No, I think just Xbox, sorry. Xbox One is coming out with a FIFA 15 bundle. Yeah, I hope my wife's watching this. Uh, <laughs> Father's Day present will be nice. <laughs> all right. Uh, now, let's get to um, career mode. There's yep. big talks about career mode. They've tweaked the... Um, Player growth. Uh, p- player growth. It's going to be a lot more realistic. But yeah. they say that every year. So how excited are you really for this? Honestly, it doesn't look like anything different from any other year. That's what I said too. I, I, I said to myself, um, you know, what, what what do I want most to be changed out of uh, FIFA 15 career mode? Yeah. And, mate, you know, realistic player growth wasn't, on, wasn't even on my agenda. Yeah. I couldn't even care less about that to me personally. Yeah. But it's something you think of. Definitely. But, yeah. all right, it's great that they've tweaked it, but that shouldn't be their main feature that they're promoting <laughs> for the career mode. Yeah. You know, they've got, a t- they got a new team management look. Yeah. So they're yeah, promoting that. A little fancy. It, it looks fancy. That's great and all that. But honestly, lads, where's the gameplay? Yeah. FIFA's known for its gameplay. You know, what okay. What a new... Fix the defending. Fix the over dribbles, yeah. mate. The crossing. The crossing mate. over how it, uh, overpowered headers, oh, mate. It's absolutely. crazy. Carlos Tevez got jumping metal sack, that kind of stuff. Mate. Yeah, mate. I hate that, it, mate. Exactly. Feels you it. feel my pain, Edgar. Feels it, feels it. But uh, good news as well, lads. Um, EA Sports have announced that in the Premier League, every Premier League team will be having their own stadium. Mate, that is massive. Mass- I've always wanted that since I was a kid. Yeah. Man. Could buy the old Ivy uh, League stadium. You know, yeah, Ivy, Lane. Yeah, yeah. Ivy Lane, sorry, yeah. Ivy Lane Stadium, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. but, no, um, he's a player there. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, mate, over 200 player game faces as well. Unreal, so man. that, mate, that's, Incredible. that was needed because, mate, I was sick and tired of playing Danny Wilbeck. He looked exactly the same as <laughs> Valencia and I yeah. couldn't, t- I couldn't pick him and Wilfred Zaha apart, you know, yeah. so, but now he's got the little afro, it looks like him. Have I'm you guys pumped. seen the meme about Jack Wilshere and the little cigarette? Oh, yeah, that was funny. That was funny. <laughs> Killer. Yeah, that was good. But, um, yeah. So, career mode, Edgar. What yeah. what would what would be one feature you would want to bring Transfers, in? Transfers, mate. They've got to be more realistic. I had, in the same season, Lewandowski go from Dortmund to Madrid to Chelsea in the January window. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, transfer. And then he ends up at Bayern Munich, and then he's linked with United like, the following season. It's just, yeah, yeah. The yeah. transfers are just all over the place. Yeah, transfers. Yeah, it's. You reckon it's too easy to get players? You reckon you you should make it where you it's a Because man, in real life, you know, it's hard to get land yeah, a player. Man. Yeah, absolutely. If you if you pick uh, Real Madrid or Barcelona, you Don't can deal. so you can sign anyone you want. No Don't problems. Deal, but in saying that, in saying that, it's a bit realistic too. Yeah. Because, <laughs> man, Real Madrid and Barcelona are <laughs> signing anyone they want yeah, at the man. minute. So I guess it's it's a 50-50 call. But for me, career mode, um, I want um, an online career mode where I could play with, not I'm saying with 20 people in my league, but just one other person. Even just, the, like, just say it was us three. Mm. Just in our own career mode where we will be bidding on our own players. Like just say we all wanted uh, Gareth Bale, you know. We would all be outbidding each other to land know. Gareth Bale, know. you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, cool. That would be awesome. I'm not saying we should, you know, extend the league to 20, 50 players, you know. But just a few, just to, you know, so you can create a series together. You but, know? Yeah. but in saying that, we'd all have to be on the same page, like play one game at a time. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't have to be like that. Yeah. It wouldn't have to be like that. Mate, EA Sports is doing it right now for yeah. NBA Live. Really? EA Sports are doing it with um, NFL, Madden. Jeez. So, mate, get on the FIFA, man. For mate, now. exactly. That's what I'm saying. Stop promoting this uh, new look team management. You know, yeah. get on the. No cr- cares, man. Yeah, man. Um, oh, you know what? Menus as well, man. How slow are they? Oh, laggy as. Oh, really? They are laggy like as. Yeah. I know it's petty, man, but. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Um, <laughs> now, let's talk online. Let's talk ultimate team. Yes. Big ultimate team news just landed, Legends, lads. Mate. mate, legends. 20 new legends, I yeah. think there was. Something like that. There was a list here, but um, let's talk about the legends that didn't make it. Which legends would you like to see? 
that didn't make the cut, it go. Probably have to say Brazilian Ronaldo and Beckham for me. Beckham, yeah, Beckham. Massive name. I would Look, like to see him Beckham. I, there. I know he just retired recently, but he's a legend straight out. Yeah. What about you, Chris? I put no mercy, Soko. <laughs> <laughs> Is he still going around? Yeah, I think. He's Juventus, I think. Is that Juventus still? Oh no, he's actually France. France, he? maybe Paris. Saint Germain, I think. Yeah, Mr. yeah, maybe. Who knows where he is anyway? Yeah. Talk about the legend. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Legends that have been confirmed, lads. Um, mate, the most, the ones that stick out for me, the two. Roy Keane, mate. Roy Keane Shearer. and Alan Shearer for me. That's phenomenal. Man. I like JJ Contra too. He was a good player to watch. I, I tweeted this out yesterday. I'm hurt, I'm hurt man. I love JJ Kocha. He He's had so he good they named him twice, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that good, huh? He was... Um, Mate, he had some real skills, man. He yeah. had, oh, yeah. mate, he could he get danced. past. He, he danced, man. But Sam Allardyce we... wasn't boring back then. Come on, JJ. Can you consider JJ Kocha a legend? Like, can you put him in no. the same bracket as Alan Shearer and Bobby not. Moore? What's he done? Yeah, I'd love to see his trophy probably, list. Yeah, yeah well, you can't judge every player off their trophy not. lists. Yeah, but that's what creates a legend, man. Look, look at that list. Everyone does want something, man. Do yeah. You, do you remember Tony Yeboah? Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, should, maybe they should have got that Nigerian instead of... <laughs> <laughs> but that, I, was, I was talking to my mate yesterday, the true Geordie. Shout out to him. Legends, it's great having these legends, but they shouldn't go too far back because majority of FIFA players are a younger generation. 80s. We were talking uh, probably France 98, man. You wouldn't go beyond that. You Yeah, you would pick out uh, like a handful beyond that point. But a lot of kids aren't going to know Roberto Baggio no. and players like that. You know what I mean? They would not They would more know France 98 onwards. What's yeah. the deal with Maradona? It's never going to happen, is it? Don't know. Just make it yourself. <laughs> Custom making. <it. laughs> you know, he was... Oh, but I think uh, he was on Pro a few years ago. Really? Maradona. I think I remember that. But uh, yeah, they got the both the Loudrop brothers, yeah. mate, Laurent Blanc, Roberto Carlos, Peter Schmeichel, mate. Schmeichel, mate. Um, are you excited by this legend list? Not be really. real with me, be I, real. I never, I Not never really, play. Yeah. If I was to play FIFA, I'd never really use legends or stuff like that. I just play them. If, if you were to open to me with Keane, Shira, I'd be assuming everything else is going to be on par with that. And then as you go down the list, you're like, oh. the one thing okay. I noticed about. The um the legends list. Everyone gets so excited. There's a big build up, but have you guys seen how expensive these players are? Yeah. I tweeted out yesterday. The average person that to get one of these cards, it's almost impossible. I reckon it'll be about a ninety percent range of people that will not even see one of these cards, let alone play with one of them. Okay, you can get KSI on it, man. You, get, you, get several, man. you know, <laughs> yeah. so it's it's it, it's fun, but. You know, and the other thing, like I said, lads, it's uh, in, it's an Xbox exclusive. So yeah, you, I don't get Legends here, mate. So Egg is on the PlayStation Four. I got a PS Four too, but I do have an Xbox One, and Chris is gonna Maybe be Atari. <laughs> <laughs> Dreamcast. Hopefully, hopefully uh, like you said, if Diana's watching, yeah, yeah. an Xbox One will be uh, <laughs> on the way. But um, in saying that, lads. Um, uh, there's a new big news as well just announced on Twitter before loans mate loans for ultimate team that is massive that's awesome that's like look as long as there's a loan limit in your team I think it's fair. I think it's a matter of oh you mean like per player no like so you can have you get like four players on loan into your club Oh, okay, it's not, not you can just loan a whole team. And well, that's what apparently looks to be the case. You can loan, it's terrible, but right? I think the lo- you can only loan a, a five games maximum. Oh, so if I loan Messi once for five games, that's it. Yeah, so let's just say you want to buy Messi, you want to test it, try before you buy. Okay. That's the whole point the of test a drive. <laughs> that's the whole point of a loan deal. Yeah. You know, try it before you buy. Well, that's what it was created for. You can only get like max like five games with them. Then you have to purchase or you have to go again. So, yeah. uh, I reckon it's awesome. I reckon it's gonna help out the players who can't afford a lot of big expensive players. Like your Cristiano Ronaldo's, you know, your Ibrahimovic's. Suarez. Yeah, Suarez. Uh, Gareth Bale's, you know. People, the average player can't afford the, uh, no. can't afford these players, you know. I, I spent the good part of three to four months trying to save up for an Aguero. Yeah, well, that we, I was talking to a mate yesterday 
Again, shout out to True Droidy. Um, what do you think of the, the price market on Ultimate Team? Is it way it's too silly, expensive? Man. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's, it, it is ridiculous. It's hard, man. It's so hard. He was saying to me, when you're a kid, you get pocket money, yeah? Yeah. Five to ten bucks a week, yeah? With that money... Thanks for being professional. <laughs> with um, um, with for that five to ten um, bucks per week, yeah? yeah? You should be able to go buy your own yeah, favourite player, sure, you know? You think, if you get that pocket money, you're a kid, you know? You say, you know, your parents give you that. You should be able to go and buy, you know, Luis Suarez... Yeah. You know, your, your favorite player on the game. Absolutely. You know, there was one point uh, during FIFA 14 that Messi was going for 400 pounds. Silly man. Mate, 400. That, that's real money. You know yeah. what I mean? That is ridiculous. I could go, you could get an Xbox One cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? So, um, it's not like you get to keep him for the next FIFA anyway. So. Yeah, that's exactly right. That yeah. should, and that's the other thing. Should that be making a system for. Um, What's it called? Should I be making a system for um, you can transfer onto the next FIFA? Or you reckon it would get boring like that? Yeah, it would get boring. It would get boring, but a lot of people are losing a lot of money every year. It's just money in the bank straight for EA Sports. Yeah. You know, they should make a discount saying that, all right, you, we can see that you've got X amount in the bank, you've got X amount your team's worth, so we're going to give you X amount for FIFA 15. You know, don't start off with scratch for the same guy who hasn't played before. Yeah, but in saying that, FIFA will lose X amount of money. Yeah, well, I'm not saying give, like, let's say you got, like, my team, I can't remember how much, well, let's say my team's like 15 million worth, don't give me 15 million, give me a million. Do you know what I mean? Make it something, if you are if you got 100,000, you know, take 15,000, yeah. you know? Don't, yeah, give, us, a, give us something for the effort that we've done, yeah. spent all that money last year doing. Give us a chance. Yeah, but uh, anyways, um... Moving on, lads, to the Fantasy Premier League. Um, mate. Oh, yeah, by the way, lads, if you want to join my league, I will be doing giveaways. Like I said, Curtis 7 hoodies, T-shirts, phone covers, a uh, million Ultimate Team coins, and FIFA 15 on any platform you want. Good on it, guys. So, uh, yeah, make sure you join. I'll put the... Um, the uh, name, nice. 7 Army, and the code down the bottom there. But, uh, mate... Let's let's talk about positions, all right? Because mate, I change my team about ten times a day, every day, and I, I, mean, I, I don't think it's going to change until the season starts. Yeah. So let's start off with the goalkeepers, all right? Who are you guys interested when it comes to the uh, goalkeepers? Well, considering that Mourinho is there, uh, I always look at Chelsea Bank because it's just going to be a tight defense. But they can. What's the deal with Checo Courtois? You know, you're taking a gamble. You've got to flip a coin. Exactly, don't you? Man. But I'm hearing rumors that uh, Courtois, Pin- I reckon, is going to start. Me. Well, I'm hearing rumors checks being sold to um, Real Madrid. Really? Yeah. That's silly. Man. Gee, that'd be a big move. It's a good move for Peter Check. Uh, um, unless Casillas is leaving, that's silly. They've, they've just bought Kelo Navas. Well. Like I said, it's only rumour, so how much can you believe rumours? Um, yeah, you're right, Edgar. Chelsea, mate, Jose Mourinho, defensive, solid, defensive. They yeah. play terrible style of pl- football, but it works. Yeah, it works, yeah. Mourinho's a winner, yep. whether we like it or not. Yep. You know, so you're right, man. Courtois or Czech. Um, I'm looking at, I've got at the minute, um, you guys can see my team right there. I've got Begovic and Tim Howard. Tim Howard, what a World Cup he had. Oh, mate. And I think he's played, like, you know, five seasons straight yeah, yeah. for Everton. Took it to a new level, man. He's a beast. He's a beast. He's only 5.5. Yeah. Yeah, he's cheap as. Um, Begovic uh, will be starting every game for Stoke, you would think, uh, under Mark Hughes. You'd, mate, I think the Britannia, you know, good home stadium, can keep clean sheets. I'll be rotating throughout the two. But in saying that, what about what about you, Chris? Oh. Mignolet? No, we'll, <laughs> not on last season's um, defensive record that we've got. Yeah, but now with Lovren there and yeah, all these be, bang, be wing better. backs. Might be a bit better. Oh, I, know, I like Shed- Chesney's value. 5.5. They lead goals there, man. That's my, you're looking at yeah, clean sheets. That's my, my, that's my uh, issue with yeah. um, Arsenal. But um, You know who I'd be maybe looking at is uh, the West Ham keeper, Adrian. At one point, I think West Ham were equal top on with clean sheets. Yeah, he was on fire. He was, he was. The, the defence 
of West Ham was phenomenal, but they just couldn't score to save their lives. Yeah, that's right, that's right. But anyways, let's get on now to the um, defenders, talking about clean sheets and that. Now, when I think defenders, as like you said, Chelsea, Chelsea I think Man City. Yeah. Man, you got company now, you got Mangala, Nestesi. I don't know if you're going to be playing too much. Yeah, you got Mangala coming in, so... You know, you want to get your clean around. sheets. Um, mate, you can't go wrong with company. He's just expensive, expensive. at 6.5. He's worth yeah. the value, but... Like, if you're going to spend that money, you yeah, know what yeah. you're getting yeah, with him. Yeah, definitely, definitely. But, uh, but then again, you might as well get a fullback that's going to maybe get an assist. That's the other thing. Do you go with centre-backs or do you go full with full-backs? Full-backs get you those assists, but... but, but uh, a couple of their head, like a cheeky head out now and then. Mate, mate, if you remember... Skirtle, John Skirtle, Skirtle, mate. How oh, many? Man. He Points was, galore. he was on. Seven. Mate, can you imagine if Silly. Liverpool could keep a clean sheet? Skirtle would have doubled the guy yeah, that finished yeah, second. Yeah. <laughs> More goals than Torres. <laughs> <laughs> really? Was that a stat? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were joking. No. My gosh, I didn't even know that. All right, uh, Leighton Baines is another yeah, one. He's always there. Big money, bro. Isn't Expensive, man. Seven. Expensive. I've got for price for but cheap players. When you think about it, he takes pens, free kicks, and assists. Yeah, so he he, well, he's worth your he's worth your dollar. Yeah, more than Coleman. Yeah, and saying that Coleman's worth seven as well. Well, what he scores about three or four free kicks every season. Yeah, he'll take a penalty every time. So now cheap pl- now cheaper players. I've gone for uh, Colacini and Ron Vla. Colacini, Newcastle captain, no. be playing every game. I'm not looking at clean sheets every week, just the home games, yeah. but not the first one. Looking, <laughs> looking to save a bit of money, huh? Yeah, so Ron Vla. World Cup. Uh, mate, what right, a World man, Cup yeah. he had. Phenomenal, huh? Mate, did you, uh, mate, he had an unbelievable uh, World Cup. Uh, what about that Mark, uh, Mankinulo? Yeah, he looks really good. Really really is, is he the type of player that will get but, forward and... Yeah. And, and put crosses in. Yeah. Also, you think Glenn Johnson yeah. will play left back? Glenn Johnson will not play at all. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Pff, I don't reckon. Man, yeah. I reckon he's, he's done. He's, yeah, he's done. Reckon. put a fork in him. He's really? cooked. He's finished. he's finished from last season. All right. Uh, now, let's get to midfielders, all right? Yaya Toure. <laughs> yeah, everyone was on Yaya Toure. Oh. Yeah, you can't. You, mate, but if you remember, he was never a big fantasy player up no. until last season. That's right. Now, he comes at 11 million. Damn. It's very expensive. Very, very expensive. Um, now, Sanchez, is he worth the 10.5? Who knows? It's, it's, no one that's, knows that. That's a lot of money. Because I remember saying last season, Ozil, mate, he had the most assists in, oh, in Spain. Yeah, had to. But he came to the Premier League and he struggled. You know what I mean? Yeah. He didn't come in and, and clean up like a Yaya Toure. I, I think to begin with he did. But then... He's yeah, his first two, three games was yeah. a OK, But, you know, he was... If you look at his overall score, it was average, yeah. you know. But in saying that, he's nine now, Ozil. At, you know, so 9.0 million. Is he a player to get in? Yeah. You know? Yeah. But uh, but in, in saying that, I think Wenger was saying that the World Cup boys don't start until early October, late September. Oh, okay then. Yeah, that's pretty yeah he said he wants a big rest for him. Kick well, on the rest of the season. Well, it's a long season. Yeah, but man. you want to talk about assists? Mate, Cesc Fabregas. Uh, yeah, Fabregas, man. Assist King. That's true. Philippe Coutinho. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be looking at my team, my <laughs> bud, all right? <laughs> mate, Coutinho, 8 million. Matter, mate. You worth it? In the, yeah, oh, for sure. He, I reckon he's ready for a good season. He's in your team? Even in um, Ericsson or Lamella, one of those two. I think good value at 8. Uh, at I think Ericsson's more of a done deal to start. Go on the Tottenham route, are we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've got for I've got two players just to be out of left field because I feel not many people will have these two players and that's Aaron Ramsey and one matter just to be different. No, I'm I'm not saying they're going to be better than like David Silva or Fabregas, but everyone's going to be having Fabregas and Silva and Sanchez. Yeah, mate, Mata. I'm not sure if you remember the end of last season. He came on like a house of fire. Mate. He was scoring, mate. He was that the kick. he was the one that only mattered. He was mate free kicks, mate assists, goals. He was mate the last five or six games, rifle. mate. He was unreal. And yeah. uh, let's and let's not get it twisted, lads. Aaron Ramsey, if he could have stayed fit, oh, he would have been the player of the season. He would have been up there with the yeah, he would have yeah. Won it. You know, so 
Mate, Aaron, and he scored on the weekend too. He can get forward, oh, score man. a goal. How cheeky is that little chip over the defender? Mate, he's a quality awesome. player. Quality, quality awesome. player. Um, so, well, what do you reckon? When I look at midfielder, I try to think about set pieces a lot. Okay, yeah, yeah. And like corner takers. That's why I got Snodgrass. Robbie Snodgrass. Bro. He was a set piece king for oh, Norwich. So he's left Norwich, yeah? Yeah, yeah he's yeah. at Hull City now. Oh, they got relegated. And Tom, Tom Ince as well. Yeah, that's a good signing as well. Um, all right, let's get to the forwards now. All yeah, right, who's gonna sign, mate? This is this is where it gets it? real, mate. There, you want to talk about real expensive money here, mate? It's at the forwards. I'll be peeved, mate. Van Persie tops Please. the list at twelve point five million. Please. Aguero comes second at twelve million. You're looking at twenty four and a half million for both of them, mm. and you're talking about two of the most injury prone players in the <laughs> Premier League. Yeah. They've already got uh, mm. doubt marks across their names. And the third best player is injury <laughs> prone as well. So. The third, yeah, that's exactly right. Sturridge at eleven point five million. He looks like he's going to be starting, but oh, he'd be first choice if he's fit. But he, he's, he won't be fit every game. He's... Would you stick him in? No questions asked. For that price, I don't know. Probably. It's expensive for Daniel Sturridge. Yeah, definitely. Man. He's never ever seen <laughs> double figures. Up until last, last season. season. yeah. But <coughs> I don't think he'd be at that price if Suarez was still there. Yeah, probably not. I think he, he, he will score a few goals. He was good last season for a goal a game. Yeah, oh, definitely. I Mate, like, like Boney's um, value 8.5. That's, yeah, but the thing about Boney is what's going to happen with him. If, he, if he stays, yeah, if he stays. But th- this this mm-hmm. game starts this weekend, so what do you do? Do you go with the Boney? Then maybe he, he won't get it. Maybe he won't start. <laughs> That's well, exactly right. For me, uh, Jovetic is... Um, Looks like good value there, 8 mil. He had a great preseason. Looks like he's ready to kick on, and he got no Negretto starting. Um, you know, you had uh, Aguero yeah, still yeah, yeah. from the World Cup. So. I've gone with um, Wayne Rooney. Yeah. He is so he good back. for a goal or assist per game. Yeah. Not quite like Sturridge for goal every game, but he'll get your goal or an assist every game yeah. on average. I think he's got something like 40 in the past 40. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's something unbelievable. And again, I've gone left field with my other two uh, strikers. Yep. I've gone with Giroud. Just because there he are... He started off on fire last season. Didn't he? Yeah, he did. And they're at home to Crystal Palace. Might sneak one there. Is he going to start though? Or is Yaya yeah. Sonogo going to yeah. start? Oh. That's what I'm worried about. That's, That's my biggest issue. Who's going to start? you gotta, you got to get Giroud, yeah. You'd think Giroud, but mate... It's Arsene awesome Wenger, mate. Yeah, you no, can't no. predict Arsene awesome Wenger. And the other smokey I've gone with is Bojan. Yeah, I, think that, yeah, I think that's a good name. They put him as a striker. Mate, yeah, he, oh, mate, he scored like four goals in pre-season. I thought he was a winger. Well, he is a bit that... He's, he's that Sanchez type player. Cuts yeah, in yeah. off the wing, but Sanchez is a midfielder and Bojan's the the uh, um, striker. So... All right, lads, that's going to wrap up episode one of the seven show. Uh, next uh, next episode we have, lads, whenever that is, uh, we're going to do some Q&A. So make sure in the comments down below, get your questions in. Don't forget to follow these two on Twitter. I'll put their links in the description as well. And uh, say goodbye, boys. Thanks for listening, guys. Thanks for listening. Anyways, boys, take care. Peace.